Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. I'm your host Mark and today we're going to be taking a look at the newest wave of Predator figures. This is the 25th anniversary line and this is Jungle Extraction Dutch and Jungle Patrol Dutch. Um, both of these figures highly anticipated. Everybody's been waiting and waiting through seven or so waves of Predator figures to finally get to Arnold Schwarzenegger. We finally got to him. And um, I just recently picked these figures up, and i got to tell you, they both look amazing. Um, really like some of the nice detail here on this Dutch with, you know, his, um, the stogie in his mouth. Love the gloves. Love the machete, but I really love like the the vest and the open the open vest and the arms on this guy. So I may actually kind of mix and match these parts. Maybe doing some head swapping, maybe adding some accessories here or there, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But um, but yeah, man, I'm just like super stoked to get these. Um, I picked these up just recently after getting the the Jungle Hunter and City Hunter um, Toys R Us exclusive two pack. So I've got two predators for these guys to battle. Um, flipping around here on the back. You can see, I think they both have the exact same back, the exact same write-up. Um, you can see both Arnold's and the the new the newly articulated uh, Jungle Hunter Predator with the helmet on. Um, they had him at the store too. The guy pulled him for me as well. Um, a friend of mine pulled him back for me, and I was going to pick him up, but since I just got the uh, unmasked version, which I completely prefer, um, I decided to pass on him. And and I also think the color. The coloring in the paint apps on the the two pack city hunter uh, jungle hunter predator look way better than the single pack figure that we got here. Let's get these guys opened up and uh, take a closer look. Okay, so here we have the two Dutch figures opened up and out of their package, and you can see um, that from the waist down they're pretty much exactly the same figure, with the exception of the machete sheath being attached to this leg here and not not here. The other really cool thing you can tell, and we'll look at this when we zoom in a little bit later is that he actually has a, a a sculpted on strap that actually goes around his leg and that strap is not sculpted on here it's not a matter of just not being painted it's just not simply not there which is a really cool touch it shows that that at least they re-sculpted this leg or took a mold of it before they sculpted this on to uh, to actually have a, you know a differentiation between the two which is really nice um, but from the you know waist up they're uh, they're completely different as far as like what they're wearing and what what's going on with their arms and stuff as you can see um, the head sculpts are pretty much spot on identical um, with the exception of course the stogie not being here but even here you can look it kind of looks like they just simply didn't you know stick it on it kind of he, he his mouth is kind of looks like he's still holding something in his mouth so it's a very nice touch um the stogie is amazing and like i said before uh, when all is said and done i will probably mix and match some of these parts i think i may take the gloves and uh, the hands off this figure, put them on this one, and maybe switch the head so that this is my hero uh, over here with the, with the gloves on and the stogie in the mouth, but just without the jacket. So we'll see how that goes. But let's take a look at them uh, individually uh, and take a closer look. Okay, taking a closer look at the Jungle Extraction Dutch, you can see he does have on the, um, the tan jacket and brown vest from the beginning of the film when they first show up and arrive uh, in South America. Um, the jest is um, the, je the the vest is not um, sculpted separately. It's not a separate piece. It is sculpted onto um, the the overall jacket piece that actually is on Dutch. It's a fairly um, sturdy plastic. You can see it doesn't have much give to it. And the weird thing is, is that the 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 cloth underlay. I don't know if you can see that. It's it's a bright pink, like a fleshy pink, but not the same color as his skin tone. So that's kind of weird. So if the jacket rides high on you. Um, you just want to make sure you keep that pulled down because it looks kind of funky underneath it. Um, but that head sculpt, and we will take a closer look at it, it is insane. That is a 7-inch uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger if I ever saw one. Um, the articulation is pretty cool. You have a, um, let's get this gun out of the way. It's just going to be falling down for the rest of the review. Uh, pin socket at the shoulder. Um, pin socket here uh, at the elbow or just a, you know, yeah, just a regular joint here at the elbow. Ball jointed hands. Uh, you have a ball jointed head, which is really nice. You can see some of the vein work right there on the side of his neck, which is insane. <laughs> God, his head sculpt is awesome. I just can't get over it. Um, the uh, the sort of like the crotch piece here is like a, a, a rubber piece that's on over the figure. It's sort of like a, 
you know, for the lack of a better term, like sort of like a diaper. Uh, and so you kind of have to futz with it a little bit to get it to, you know, not show this hip joint so much, but you've got a, um, you know, pin socket here at the top of um, the thigh. You've got a single joint at the knee, um, no double joints here. Uh, and then you do have a uh, rotation at the uh, ankle and then the ball is on a rocker. So you get a fair amount of motion out of the foot, um, which is really nice. Um, double jointed knees with this foot rocker, I think would have give some great articulation for some crouching poses. Um, but you know, um, it is what it is. We got what we got. So, uh, all in all, you know, you know, if he came with like a walkie talkie or a communication device, you got, got a hand for that. If he did, this would work very well for that. Um, as it is, this is for holding the extended part of the barrel, um, of the gun. So that works out very well. Nice. Nice gun hand on the other side, so the sculpting of um, his hands is really nice as well. Uh, and we'll take a closer look at the uh, the weapons in a minute. But, um, but yeah, let's zoom in and take a closer look at this face. Okay, now, um, I wouldn't say I'm an avid Hot Toys collector, but uh, I do have my fair share of Hot Toys figures. And I think Hot Toys, when it comes to head sculpts, facial sculpts, they're like top-notch, no doubt about it. Um, and, I, you know, over the years, McFarlane has sort of declined, but NECA has sort of, you know, sort of risen. I think that they've sort of taken that six to seven inch top spot away from McFarlane toys. But uh, I got to tell you, outside of hot toys, NECA is doing some fantastic work, especially in the six and seven inch scale. Uh, this is one of the best head sculpts on a seven inch figure I think I've ever seen. I mean, that is Arnold Schwarzenegger through and through. And the fact that they're able to sort of get this really nice squint out of him, like it's hot, there's probably sweat and dirt in his eyes, and he's just not sure about what it is he's about to embark on. I mean, they have really, really captured Dutch Schaefer through and through. And the fact that he's got that stogie in his mouth is just unreal this is a fantastic head sculpt no doubt about it i love the face paint the war paint that's on him is just fantastic and you know ever since neca first did the conan figures i was like man they really they really get arnold and they know how to sculpt him so i, I was sort of waiting until the predator line got around to releasing dutch before i really jumped into it um and i'm so glad i did this figure is fantastic so uh why don't we uh, zoom out a little bit and take a look at some of his weapons okay starting with dutch's um m16 with the um the grenade launcher over and under as i believe it was once called um and of course if i'm getting any of these weapon <laughs> names wrong please please correct me in the comments but a really nice um rifle here you can see that it's black it's got a very nice um gunmetal brush across the top to give it that very scuffed up weathered look triggers look nice the uh it's a very sturdy plastic doesn't feel fragile at all and a very soft rubber um strap which is really nice that they even took the time to paint the buckles so it just gives that extra added detail um very very nice looking weapon he holds it nice it slings over his shoulder nice great addition um Moving on to his sidearm, you can see, um, you know, I'm not sure exactly what kind of pistol he used in the movie. I haven't seen it in quite a while, but to me, this looks like a, a Desert Eagle. Um, no, no, you know, barrel on the end. That's kind of weird, but uh, very nice indeed. Looks great. Got the black and silver going on. Very nice touch. Uh, moving on to his hunting knife, uh, you can see uh, not a lot of detail, but not a lot of details needed. It's just, it is what it is. It's a hunting knife, but I love the black handle. It looks like it'd be made of a very soft rubber, um, but a uh, great, great looking knife. But as Crocodile Dundee said, that's not a knife. This is a knife, and he would be correct. This is the, the my favorite we weapon that comes with Dutch, and that is his uh, machete that fits down on his boot sheath. So this thing is fantastic. It looks great. Very screen accurate from what I can remember, uh, and very nice handle. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at some of these weapons in his hand and uh, look at some poses for Dutch.
Okay, so um, as you can see, some quite a nice posability on the, the um, jungle extraction Dutch. And, um, you know, we're going to be going through the same motions on this guy. You, you know, it's basically the exact same figure with some slight molding differences in the arms and chest. Um, I even think the, the head sculpt's exactly the same, just minus the stogie. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we're not going to have to go back over accessories. He comes with everything the uh, jungle extraction does, except for the, um, the the huge machete. That, of course, is is, is sadly missing in this release. I honestly think had this figure come with the machete and had the sheath on his leg, um, I may not have purchase the first figure i don't think the cigarette uh the cigar alone would have been enough for me to pick that figure up so um other than that they're they're almost exactly the same you can see um this one does have a, a green camo um, tank underneath whereas the other one had a had a very weird like pinkish colored flesh tone kind of thing going on underneath the jacket um this vest is connected here in the front but it is molded separately it is a um it is a separate piece you can see um but it is um connected in the front and I don't think you can take those two apart I don't believe so I think it's molded that way um, but uh, of course he does come with the bare arms and hands um, the watch is still there um, so that's really neat and uh, like I said before you'll notice on the and you'll we'll see this um, in, in more detail later but the uh, the strap that was actually molded around the leg for the sheath is actually missing so that's a, a new leg piece or at least this piece was molded before they you know, sculpted the, um, the strap on and then, um, and then cast another mold after they carved, um, had, had tooled it on. So I think that's a really, really, really nice touch. But I think, uh, Arnold's, um, his, you know, his arms are, the, the guns are all accounted for. Uh, they're, they're very adequate and look nice. And again, that head sculpt is just, it's just simply amazing in this scale. I can't believe the amount of detail they got into that head sculpt. It looks quite nice. So uh, since we don't have to cover uh, accessories and we don't really have to cover articulation because everything's pretty much the same, why don't we just take a quick look at that amazing head sculpt again and then get into a couple of uh, poses. Okay, as we zoom in here, you can see just all the amount of detail they were able to get into this head sculpt. It is quite, quite nice. Um, I'm typically not a fan of NECA's um, new method of using this sort of translucent plastic to sort of get these sort of realistic um, f um, flesh tones in their figures. Wasn't a huge fan of it on their Rocky figures. <clears throat> and um, But I got to tell you, I, I think maybe it's the face paint they have going on here. I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's actually working to their benefit um, this time around. The hair is um, painted nicely. I think that translucent uh, plastic does allow for painted areas like the hair to not look translucent. Um, and the, the face paint just looks nice. Um, and even um, the, because of the translucent plastic um, that they use, it actually gives off a nice little sheen. So it actually looks like he's kind of sweaty. You can see that it looks really, really nice. And uh, of course the face paint just looks great. So let me see if, without having to reset up the camera, if I can bring in the other Dutch figure into frame and see if we can get a nice comparison of the two head sculpts, sort of side by side. And oh, the guns are getting in the way. But uh, as you can see, nice squint to the eye here on this one. Not so much on this one. I mean, I think it's the exact same head sculpt, but maybe there's just a, a little different uh, painting apps uh, around the eye to sort of give it that more squinty look. And of course, the stogie's gone. But man, what a fantastic, fantastic head sculpt. I mean, I just can't say enough about NECA's ability to get this amount of detail out of such a small figure. It's really, really uncanny. Looks great. So uh, why don't we check out Jungle Patrol Dutch in a couple of poses and see how he stacks up.
Okay, so uh, as you can see, tried to you know shake up the uh, the poses, give you a little something different with Jungle uh, uh, Jungle Patrol Dutch than I did with Jungle Extraction Dutch. They really need more different names. But anyway, um, so, you know, basically these are two fantastic figures. Do I think you need both figures? Mm, probably not, especially when the next wave of figures is actually going to give us another uh, version of this Dutch just without the uh, camo tank top underneath. Um, that really seems like an unnecessary figure. Um, but, you know, that's just another Arnold figure, and who can't have enough Arnold figures, right? Um, we're all waiting for the Wave 8 or Wave 9. I don't, I don't remember which one it's in. Uh, the mud-covered Final Battle Dutch. I think everybody's really waiting for that one. Um, for me, uh, if it wasn't for the Machete and the Stogie, I think I could just go with this guy here. If you're going to drop your money and are not a completist, I think this is the, the, more, uh, the more fun... Um, uh, Dutch figure of the two for for me and my money, um, but uh, without having both of them, I couldn't do this. Okay, so this is how Dutch is going to live on my shelf. Quick little full leg swap here, hand swap, head swap. Got the stogie in there, got the gloves on, even got the leg with the sheath. This is how this guy's going to live on my shelf. Um... This Dutch, I don't know. He's uh, He doesn't have a stogie now, doesn't have a sheath on his leg, and his hands are just, you know, they they don't have gloves on them. That guy may wind up on eBay. So if you see a, uh, a Dutch on eBay, looks like he's missing a bunch of mix and match parts, doesn't have everything he came with, that's probably my guy because this is really the only Dutch that I want or need. So... Oh, of course, until the battle damage comes out. So um, we hope you guys enjoyed the video because we certainly had a lot of fun making it. So uh, as always, if you dug it, please like, comment, or subscribe. Be sure to join the conversation over at uh, facebook.com slash ungrownups. And be sure to check out our podcast, which is new every two weeks. You can stream that right directly from our website, ungrownups.com, or you can download it from iTunes to search for Ungrownups Podcast. And until next time, peace.